We also lost a, an East Side general that predates you by about a, a decade, maybe. Uh, you want to speak on him real quick? Oh, man, you know, that was the East Side general. You know what I mean? Original. You know what I mean? And that's OG Stanley Pitts, man. You know, uh, you know, Stanley Pitts is legendary. You know, no doubt about it in, in anyone's handbook. You know, if you go back and ask anybody from the beginning of Pa Rue, homie, they're going to tell you that Stanley Pitts was a staple, you know, off the east side, man, that that really paved the way for every single person over there. You know, um, you know, a lot of Crips and, 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 and other dudes from, you know, have told me stories about Stanley, you know, have told me, you know, how much, you know, he was respected back in the 70s, 80s and 90s. Fortunately, though, Alex, as me being a young cat on the east side, I was raised up under him, you know, a um, few generations, but he was there and I was there. So when I was at the park, man, you know, Ludus Park hanging out, you know, whether we shooting dice or going swimming or whatever it is, you know, I've had uh, Stanley Pitts, you know, lace my boots on plenty of situations homie and one thing i can't say about him man, for me he never told me nothing wrong you know he used to come up to my barber shop sit down with him, chill you know you know just chop it up with me but he was spitting knowledge sometimes when i didn't even know that's what he was doing and uh and uh he was it was, it was a pleasure homie and, and, and a lot of dudes don't know that when you talk about stanley pitts bro you talk about going back to when pyro started you know what I mean? You talk about when you go back to the Puttons and you go back to the Tams and you go back to all them, you know, the Marcus Nuns and, you know, China Dog. You know, you, when you go back to them names, bro, you can't, you can't, ever, they can't leave out Stanley Pitts. You know what I mean? You know, um, definitely, like I say, man, a, 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 a D general on the east side. Definitely was a pleasure growing up under him, homie, knowing him personally. You know, um, you know, I had just talked to him on the phone, you know, about a month or two ago. You know, he was telling me about his health. You know, and when I told him, you know, I was sorry to hear that, Alex. He said right there and said, hey, man, it is what it is, you know. So, um, you know, he felt like that about it. You know, uh, I, I, I had just had to, you know, smile a little that, you know, hey, he going out all the way. Like, you know, it, it is what it is, homie, you know, and and um He's definitely like, you know, the big homie that I, I appreciate, you know, getting to know, getting to learn from, you know. And um, for those who don't know, if you don't know who Stanley Pitts is and you off the east side, then I don't really think you off the east side. You feel me, Alex? You know, you can't be from Paru, homie, if you don't know who Stanley Pitts is. And I don't care what Paru that is, you know. So rest in peace, homie. We we definitely missing the general, a uh, 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 legendary homie, you know, Um my condolences to his family, his kids, man, and to all the power rules, homie. He was he was one of the realists that ever did it for. So, you know, rest in peace, Stanley Pitts. And uh, there's this book written by A.C. Moses, a.k.a. Baba Louie. It's called The Starting Lineup. And Baba Louie, I'm sorry, uh, Stanley Pitts is mentioned in this book numerous times because, as you said, he was known on the east side, but even on the west side, his name was ringing on the west side as well with all the Pyrus over there. So if anyone's interested in this history of the Pyrus, the starting lineup by King Babalua, you can hit up streetgangs.com. I got a bunch of these books there and, um, you know, you get a little bit of history. And he was born, well, he was 63 years old. So, you know, he's got over a decade on us. So that means, FG, when you was about 12 years old riding your bike around the neighborhood, uh, Stanley Pitts was already 21, 22 years old, 23 years old at the time. Can you, can you, do you remember those times? No, nah, well, not, not at that young age, you know, I don't, you know, but when I came around to a little older, maybe 14, you know, and then like you say, you start going up to the park and you start doing things. When you see Stan back then, man, he was just a legendary figure. You know, you didn't just walk up to him and run up to him and, you know, talk to him back then. It took a time for me to, you know, grow in status for me to, you know, like I say, build my relationship with him, but that's just how it was on the East side. It was you know in, in in a lot of neighborhoods it, it's definitely a pecking order you know and uh he definitely was one of them dudes who like i say you know you know when you when your big homie big homies look up to this dude then you know he's somebody you know what i mean so like i say you know i've come up through the ranks where you know he gravitated to me you know and 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 uh had nothing but love for me you know what i mean and uh and uh so watching these dudes and see how they move you know i was in awe of when i first met these dudes you know and and um but at the same time, man, they, 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 these dudes had hearts, homie. They didn't, they didn't, even though they did all the shit they did, like I say, you know, I heard, 
you know, different podcasts since he's passed away, you know, speak on him, you know, um, from both sides, you know, the, the, the red side and the blue side. But at the same time, if you knew him personally, homie, you know, if he if he if, if he had love for you, homie, it was it was it was he was going to show it, you know, whether he was going to buy you a brew, little homie, you want to brew or little homie, you good or, you know what I mean? The things of that nature, you knew if 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 he fucked with you or not, you know, and, and when he fucked with you, it made. 30 other motherfuckers fuck with you, Alex. That was the thing about coming up to the hood. You know, Stan probably, you know, um, anointed me when I didn't even know I was being anointed. You know what I mean? You know, because when Stan's, you know, hey, F, give me a ride to the store, but he really jumping in the car with you to let people know that he fuck with you. You know, that shit carries weight. You know, that 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 carries weight, homie. When when them killers and gorillas be like, oh, if Stan fuck with him, then he must be, he must be all right. You know, and and and, and, and people don't know growing up in those situations. That's why I say he was lacing my boots when I didn't know I was getting laced. He was protecting me when I didn't know I was being protected, you know, things of that nature. So, you know, like I say, man, and then as we got older and, you know, I, he already knew we, I had nothing but love and respect for him, which a whole lot of other people did. But, you know, I'm going to miss the OG, man, the, the triple OG. I'm going to miss him, Alex. Well, other than this book that AC Baba Louie has mentioned him, um, he's also mentioned in your paperwork when you got caught in the feds. It's like a whole little paragraph. Yeah, no Stanley doubt, Pitts. no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey man, you know how it go. When people give, get to giving up information on the east side, homie, I mean, shit, I guess they wasn't exempt to leave him out too because they sure was trying to tell on what he was doing, you know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, Stan was a beast, you know, especially even, like I say, even before, you know, I was coming around, you know, he put the staple on it, man. He made it to where we can do what we did, represent what we represent. You know, um, a lot of these youngsters will be quick to say, you know, how much work they put in and what they did. But, you know, they don't take into consideration, Alex. They did it at a time when, you know, being a blood or being a paru is at an all time high. You know, Stan them did it, homie, when 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 Tookie and them was around, when when Raymond Washington and them was around, pressing lines on dudes, and you know what I mean. When the Compton Crips, you know, was at an all time high, you know these dudes did it then, you know, and 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 a whole lot of dudes wouldn't have been able to stand in the fire like they did back then, Alex, in order to make it what it is today. Definitely, man. Uh, I met Stanley Pitts in 2017 when I interviewed Baba Louie. You can go tap in with Street TV. I got that Baba Louie interview and Baba Louie and and Stanley Pitts was hanging out. They was pretty tight as older friends. You know, these guys is in their early 60s and they was hanging out. Um, so I had a chance to meet him with Baba Louie. I never got a chance to interview him. I do remember me, Baba Louie and Stanley Pitts talked about doing an interview after I interviewed Baba Louie, but it never happened. And, uh, you know. Hey, it is what it is, man. I, I, it's unfortunate. I don't think Stanley Pitts ever really sat down with anybody. Huh? Right, right, right. No, I had talked to him about it a little bit. You know, I was just asking him what was his feelings about it. You know what I mean? And he just more or less like, you know, hey, man, do your thing or people do their thing. You know what I mean? But he was going to keep it. You know, what what you know about him is what you know about him. You know what I mean? You know, he didn't have nothing to explain or nothing to, you know, uh, exploit or nothing like that. But when I sit down and used to ask him personal, personal shit. Oh, he used to, he, he'll run it down to me. You know what I mean? You know, he done ran down stories that, you know what I mean? Like I said, I won't repeat, but he done ran down stories, man. And, he, you know, he had confidence in himself. He know what he did. He knew his legendary status. You know what I mean? And and, and that's just how it was. When I sit down with OG Bam from uh, Front Hood Compton Crib, you know, Bam told me about how much of a beast he was. And, you know, they went to junior high school together. And Bam told me that he was one of the only two bloods that went to Willowbrook Junior High School and back in the day, you know, and he 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 held his own and and everybody else got ran all the other bloods got ran up out of there stand and uh it was one other homie they 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 held their own man so like I said I've heard props from every side I've even heard like I said I heard the stories for them wish I could have sit down and got a one on one interview with him but I respected how he was man you know he was just gonna be remembered for you know who he is and how he did it yeah for sure man uh, I'm sure that's gonna be a, a big funeral um for stanley pitts because these types of guys always people always come out they come out the woodworks to pay their respects. i mean you always almost got to on this one a lot of other ones you know what i mean but this one for sure you know um you know if you ever you know threw up a p if you ever represented the p if you ever got you know power rule of blood tatted on you homie you know and it's even gonna be crips there you know that's how much love and respect the dude you know brought to the table when it comes to this thing you know so 
Um, like I say, like uh, always sending my condolences to my, his family, you know, and uh, his kids and and uh, the whole Pyro Nation, man. And and did Stanley Pitts ever have a nickname? Because he's always just referred to by Stanley Pitts. Man, I've been calling him Stanley Pitts the whole name since I was, you know, like I say, 12 or something, man. I never heard no, you know, if he did, I didn't know it. He's been Stanley Pitts, man, for since forever, you know, and then that's how I referred to him. That's how I heard everybody else referred to him. You know, you got to be G, man, that don't even need a nickname. You know what I mean? It's just, just who he is, you know what I mean? And, and uh, but yeah, no, nah, I never knew. If he did, I didn't know it. Yeah, man, uh, we're losing a lot, man. Over here on my side of town, we lost an OG named Westside Tone. Uh, he'd been around since almost um, from the beginning of uh, on this side of town. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, we just it's just we, hey, when we when we see so many people that we're losing, that means we're getting old, FG. No, no doubt, Alex, and, and it's moving fast, dog. It's moving fast, you know. And 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 I didn't realize it'd be that move this fast, you know. I, I could still easily recall being 15, 16 years old, man, driving around in my, you know, uh, car through the hood, chilling, you know, you know, young cat. You think you got the whole rest of your life ahead of you. I mean, in actuality, you do, but I don't think nobody realizes um, how fast it actually it it, it, it goes, man. It, it's, it's moving too fast. Not to mention, man, you know, we are. Um, we losing a lot of homies younger than we did with, with, with the older generation, you know? So, uh, man, you know, so this health is wealth at this moment, you know, and, and, and just trying to, you know, uh, stay healthy, man, and be here for your loved ones, bro. Definitely, man. Rest in peace to, uh, Stanley Pitts, to my homeboy, uh, Westside, Westside Tone. Tone. 